so I know I can't enter through that entrance because Mihiru is laying on that side. And then here's Nagito. Now then. Let's try going inside. My. Nagito! Whoa. Why the heck are you here? Hello Why hello there, Kazuichi. Thanks for going easy on me earlier. Thanks to you, I was able to walk away j uh, with just mild bruising. You clearly think like an ultimate. What the heck? Um, you two have arrived at a good time. Okay, what did you discover? I believe it's something like Sonya's, but there's something I noticed too. <laughs> this is great, it looks like the investigation is reaching its boiling point. Uh, okay, so talk to Sonya last, I think. Tell me what you know already, didn't you find out whose footprints those were? Actually, how, how, how were you able to find out? After listening to everyone's story at the airport, I, I went to a certain place. You snuck in? <laughs> To everyone's cottages? Why? How do you know this? Yep. Isn't everyone's uh, cottages to... Uh, what? He did something shady yeah. again. See? You really drew everyone's footprints? So, what you're saying... Yep. Those are Hiyoko's footprints? Well... Perhaps... You're treating her like a small animal. <laughs> Was it really worth it? Oh my god, this is complicated! Um, You're making it more complicated than it should be, I think. See? Oh my god, there's a yellow gummy in the closet. So that must have come from this bag, right? Strawberry, melon, grape, and orange. It looks like she got it from the supermarket. Apparently she really likes this brand of gummies. There should have been other gummy brands, but she only uh, brought home a bunch of these. People are like that sometimes. There are people who will only eat the same brand, even if it's just potato chips. It's not clear if this relates to the incident, but I thought I should tell you just in case. It probably greatly relates to the incident. Okay. Oh my. She looks strangely excited. Oh. Is it really a good time to get excited over that during an investigation? Mm. It appears. We're nearly out of uh, investigation time. Mikan just finished performing in the autopsy she might have found an important clue, don't you think? Also, it seems like Sony has some information, too. I apologize, I'm not being that helpful. That's okay. You were what? You were guarding the body, right? You have something to say, too, right? Well, compared to the others, I, what I have to say isn't that important, so please don't get your hopes up and be disappointed. I get it, so just get on with it. I tried my best to perform the autopsy, and I was able to find out. Mihira was definitely killed by a blow to the head. Okay, that seemed obvious from the beginning. Um, okay. That's pretty obvious. Every dark cloud has a silver lining, as they say. It looks like Mahiro didn't suffer. What does that mean? There's no doubt that she died instantly. Instant? But she was struggling, right? Um. <laughs> I discovered this in Mahiro's pocket. I was going to tell you in person, but I couldn't find you, so I put this in your mailbox. It seems like there's... 
about what we discussed earlier, is it okay if we change the place and time? I want you to come to the beach house on the second island at 2.30 p.m. Okay? It seems there's someone who wants to interfere with our meeting. Let's keep it a secret. Until then, let's try not to see each other for a while. It would be bad if they started suspecting us for no reason. Why did Hiyoko write this? It would mean Hiyoko met up with Mahiru, right? Plus, Mahiru, Mahiru's estimated time of death was around 3 p.m. and they met 30 minutes prior. If we think about that, uh, about if we think about what that implies, then I'm starting to get confused. What happened between Mahiru and Hiyoko? And why is there blood on the note? Okay, what's the huge news? Um, okay. It was not used to hide their face. Okay, I figured that. Well? Sparkling Justice. Sparkling Justice is a serial killer and self-professed uh, ally of Justice whose name makes mankind shudder. They wear, they wear a hero mask at all times. Supposedly, they are a serial killer who only murders other criminals. That is an order. Do not look so disappointed, Hajime. You need you need to be surprised. Mm. This sparkling just character, that's a serial killer uh, you were talking about before, right? It's true that the mask we found is a hero mask, mm. but... It is a heroine mask, to be pr precise. Some witch as for Ido is a pretty witch girl. Anyway... So you're saying it's possible that this serial killer is the one who killed Mihiru? Which means there's a serial killer hiding among us? I'm pretty sure I've seen a twist like this in some video game. Oh yeah, I wonder where. Well, hello there! Is it me you were hoping to see? Genocide Jill? Serial killer my ass? Oh man. That's weird. They sure show something that stands out. That might be true, but although it's easy to write this off as foolish, it might be best if we exercise some caution. Sunny, so, can you also tell me something about this so-called sparkling justice? As the light of justice shines upon my mask, I expose the hearts of malevolent evil. Justice complete! The center of justice that is pierced by justice! The lead star of justice that shines in the night sky! That would be me, Sparkling Justice! You? Well? What? <clears throat> An unknown serial killer has a catchphrase? Do you have a minute? There has only ever been one person, a journalist, who has interviewed Sparkling Justice. The article was written in, the na in their native language, so I tried translating However. it. However, in the end, that journalist was punished by Sparkling Justice too. So... No good can come from getting involved with the serial killer. The serial killer might not want to hear from that from- it might not want to hear that from you. This is all I know about Sparkling Justice. Thanks to the mask, nobody knows their true age or gender, making them a very mysterious individual. Is that kind of a stretch to say that there's a serial killer hiding in our group? Listen. No, it does not mean they are in our group. It is possible that the serial killer is, was lurking on this island all along before they decided to murder Mahiru. Wow. I... okay? I... That one of us is capable of committing such a horrible murder. No matter how much uh, I think about it, I simply cannot believe it. It's highly unlikely that there's a serial killer hiding on this island. Man, it's a similar situation as what happened in the first game. The time for unparalleled hedonism has come to an end! Come! Now is the time!
time to fight the decisive battle! The hostility of fresh blood, the insanity of a contest of wits! The class trial is finally raising its curtain! So meet up in front of Monokuma Rock! Once you're there, please proceed to the underground by taking the elevator located at the secret entrance. <laughs> I'll see you soon! Now then. Looks like it's time. I guess the investigation is over. So it's finally starting. The class trial where our hopes and the killer's hope will find a clash. <laughs> but it's alright! Either way, hope will win the end! All right. Now then, let's go prove it. <laughs> What's he so excited about? There's no reason to respond to a guy like that. Anyway, we should start heading over. At the trial field where Monokuma is waiting, I have to make my case there. There's no escape. We have no choice but to press forward. Now then, let us go. As we talked among ourselves, we left the beach house and Mahira's body. Man. Alright. Uh, wait. Oh, okay. Um... Okay, here it is. <laughs> Let me go, help me. He's gonna do something crazy to me, I'll be ruined. Who are you? Shut up and stay put, you stubborn little lolita. Stop harassing little girls. Hiyoko was trying to run away, so Monokuma brought her here by force. But Hiyoko's still trying to run away, so Monokuma was trying to wrap her in a full Nelson. If you don't stay put, I'll make you a part of this island's food food chain. Unbelievable. Making me waste my sweet ass time. Where the heck is Fuyuhiko? He pisses me off. Um, what am I looking at? There's nowhere for me to run anyway, so no matter the ending, I have to accept it, right? But still, I'm a Yakuza. Accepting defeat is not an option. It's all good. The trial heats up. It's all good. Looks like everyone's here, so let's depart now. I'll go first and be one step ahead of you guys. Of course, you're always gonna be one step ahead. Like, do you even have to prepare? Yeah, you do. Show some spirit. If you don't have enough power, harness your talent, energy. Come on, bring bring out the energy. Where the heck were you the this entire time? Must be the will of causality. Let's keep our spirits high so we can one day find that shining hope! I can only move forward. It, it's, it's the only option. <laughs> you should be honored. It's nearly showtime! <laughs> A mere human such as yourself will be, uh, will be present to witness the beginning of the end. I believe in you. If everyone works together, you should be able to stand against any despair. I will definitely help you out. I have nothing to do with this. Yeah, you do. What are you doing dying for? Come on, let's hurry up and go. Then Let's go. There's no reason for us to waste time here. Listen. The truth behind me here is death, sparkling justice may hold the key. No, that just has to be it. Cause it's bad. Let's go, we can't forget the killer. This class trial stuff again, so this time we gotta figure out who killed my hero, huh? I don't get complicated stuff, so I'll leave this to you guys. <laughs> if you don't unleash your power here, where else are you going to unleash it? Don't you want to avenge Mahiro's death? Yeah? 
color would be surprised. Could it be the type to awaken hidden powers when he gets angry? He's a stuffed animal, right? Damn it! I'm not mentally prepared yet, like, I don't think I'll ever be. But we can't just stand around mm. all day. Yeah, I guess you're right. Why did Bahiru? This is impossible! <laughs> I'm a Yakuza, I won't run or hide. But you just did. Alright, we're going, right? Okay, the escalators come out. So evil. No matter how many times I see it, it's such a bad taste. The worst, lowest, the more brutal taste. Somehow I move my muscles stiff from fear and nerves and awkwardly walk on onto the escalator. For some reason, my breathing was short and I was eventually struck by a feeling similar to dizziness. The moment all of us were inside Monokuma Rock. Again, I like how it's so funny how like it's just the one rock that's like spazzing out. A rumbling sound filled the room and the surrounding space began to fall. As I shook with the clatter, the elevator we were inside continued to drop. Throughout that drop, I was fluctuating between feeling hope and despair, as if my heart was a rotten fruit swelling in the sun before it finally goes squish. I suddenly stopped breathing. My consciousness began to fade from the pressure. I tried to endure that pressure by firmly standing on my legs. And after a while, the elevator's vibrations gradually weakened. And then it stopped altogether. Wow, look at this room. Aim, defeat the boring routine. So, I decided I decided to start redecorating. How does it look? Mr. Monokuma's redecoration is awesome, isn't it? Impossible! It's not like I'd allow you to think otherwise anyway. That is. To go to the trouble of doing something this elaborate, really, what is your true intention? No, no. Nothing, really. Essentially, this killing game is just the, the, the kill time anyway. <sighs> the kill time for what? To break away from my purpose. That alone is my purpose. What's your purpose? Like... A purpose is gonna is, is only gonna be a weakness. Those who have a purpose are always the weakest one of uh, the weakest ones in the bunch. That's why you guys should forget about such a cheap ass purpose like trying to survive. So you're saying we all should just die? All right. Pretty simple. It's starting. The class trial is starting. Mahiro Koizumi, the ultimate photographer, she had an unyielding force of responsibility, but she was actually very hard, very good at taking care of people. More importantly, she was always straightforward. That the person that killed her is among us. I don't want to believe it. I don't want to believe it, but. Regardless, we need to find the answer. It doesn't matter if you believe it or not. Because it's the only way, aside from finding out who the killer is, there is no other way for us to survive. And so, this life-threatening trial, build building with hope and despair, has begun. Alright, let's do this.